I got my package. Let's open it. So I ordered this a month ago, and here it is. Cost 16 bucks. Wange, which is Liago. I've had experience with this about six years ago. Three sets, three little sets, and not impressed. So let's give Wange a shot. Liago, Wange, same thing. And see if there's any improvement with this set. I just open it up and the pieces smell like soil, which is similar to Woomba, but more potent. Yeah, it smells like dirt, it smells like soil, so let's build it. Is a set complete so you get two minifigs three weapons a horn and four tires which I'll explain in a second Let's start off with the miniature little instruction book so here it is tank super military world wange 238 pieces tankman a sham battle army commander militarist super military world there's the item number, and let's open it up. Pretty much a summary of the different pieces you get, which isn't really much. Uh, it doesn't show the quantity, but these are just the different unique pieces. And the build is fairly straightforward. Uh, lots of pieces, so by the time you get to page 12, step 12, you're done. And here's the back of the instruction book. It shows you can do an alternate model using these extra tires. And what's funny too is these these guns, these weapons are rubber, made of uh, rubber. There's three, but you only get two minifigs as pictured. And on the picture, it shows you have three. Not only that, the minifigs are also different. Look here, they're round. Their faces are round, but here they're square. And also, too, back to the front, it shows that you get some decals, some stickers, but on my set, I didn't receive any. So that being said, I didn't get stickers, and my minifigs are different. I only, I only get two, not three. I have a feeling that this is a new batch of... Uh, Wange that was released because probably the old ones look too much like Lego. The minifigs look like Lego, so they had to revamp and make different minifigs. So that's what I think happened, and I don't know why I didn't get any stickers, but let's check out the minifigs. Here they are, your square headed minifigs. They're identical to one another, and you notice too that they have ears. Now let's compare this to a regular Lego minifig. Here's your regular Lego minifig and these are your wange. You can see that the torsos are a little bit bigger and they're wider and they have bigger heads, square heads versus the round head. You can even remove the top of their head and revealing no brains inside. So let's put it back on. There it is. Let's put their tops back on. I meant put their tops back on. So there is your comparison. And on to the tank. Here it is. Let's do a 360. To me this more looks like a tank destroyer than a tank. On the back of the tank you have these doors which all open up. They're all separate pieces which is kind of awkward. Should have just been one piece on each side. I don't think Wange has the uh, advanced piece for the doors to be like that yet. Actually, most of the pieces here are very basic. On the top, you can fit a minifig in there. Very big hole. Problem is, this door does come down and if that happens, you just have to take the piece out, piece it back on. And here's your turret. It does rotate a 360. 
you have a hatch up here too which sinks in so you just have to open it that way be careful not to let it sink in let the tank roll it does roll really smooth so I'm a bit surprised despite the vehicle rolling well there's just a few flaws with the construction there's not many pieces overlapping one another so you'll be getting this for instance and just the bottom right here is not really supported so you'll get that this piece coming off and you can see elsewhere through the tank like these plates here there's no overlapping sections so that's a fail on construction and now to conclude my review first off I was hesitant trying to build this but after all I was impressed with the plastic quality compared to older sets so they've stepped up their game a lot like I said before about the building construction it was flawed lots of pieces not overlapping but that's just the uh, construction the bricks themselves are very crisp uh, reminds me of those building blocks Quelatong so these Wange blocks are definitely way better than Kogo and I was surprised with the uh, Technic pins holding the wheels and the wheels themselves the thread the rubber track they were all just very Lego like so out of all the clone blocks these Technic pins for me in my opinion were the best but for the model itself the model looks kinda like a inexperienced model somebody would just get like random pieces and build so nothing too exciting about the model it's actually bigger than I thought in conclusion I'll probably buy more range blocks now that I know their quality has improved and this thing for being 16 bucks I'd say is worth it this is Brickhead Boy thanks for watching